Next, I'll paint in the mountain base colors. For this task, I'll use cobalt blue, cobalt green, rose, a spray bottle, a one and a half inch flat brush, a half inch flat brush, salt, and some tissue. I'll first pre-wet everything below the mountaintop horizon. Remember, I've got this painting tilted forward, so this water will flow downward. I'll pick up a mix of cobalt blue and rose, a fairly lean mix, and I'll carefully follow the mountaintop line. As I go along, I'll frequently sweep at the paint below the mountaintop line so that they do not set up and form a hard edge. As I approach the base of the mountains, I'll work in some cobalt green. Quickly, while the paint is still wet, I'll blend in some more rows. And some more cobalt blue. And before they dry, I'll add in some salt for texture. I'm going to mimic these colors in the reflection below. Again, I'm blending the colors right on the wet paper. Now, I'll jump up to the left side ridge line and I'll apply a base of cobalt green. This time, I won't paint along the actual ridge line, but I'll get close to it. To keep these colors blending, I'll re-wet below them. And I'll again mimic the color in the reflection. While it's still wet, I'll add some salt. Quickly, before this color dries, I'll soften its upper edge with a water-loaded brush. I don't want a hard edge here. Over on the other side, I'll dry the area around the most distant mountain. Then, I'll paint in its base colors, this time using more cobalt blue than rose. And before it dries, I'll dilute its lower edge so that it doesn't form a hard edge. 